What's up guys? Hey, I'm back. It's been a while um, since I uploaded that last video about, let's see, that was Thanksgiving two weeks ago, something like that. But I wanted to go over a piece of gear that I realized after I've kind of been working on some things that I haven't reviewed in a while and I've had it for almost a year. It'll be three weeks shy of a year. So I'm gonna do a full review on this item and I'm not gonna say what it is yet, so let's just go get it and then we'll bring it back to the tabletop and we are going to review this. Alright, so I'll just keep some of my gear in here because nobody's using this room, but uh, let's see. Right there. This is the brand new tent that I just got. So, as soon as I get a couple more pieces of gear, that is going to be talked about real soon. Alrighty guys, like I said, I'm going to be reviewing this piece of gear, the Garmin InReach Mini. So, um, let me just take this off real quick so we don't get too much. So, like you can see, I keep a thermometer on this as well. Anyways, that's not for today. So, the Garmin InReach Mini. It has been awesome. I could not ask for a better piece of gear. Um, if you're looking for like a two-way communicator or like a GPS. And that's exactly what this is. The Garmin InReach Mini is a two-way satellite communicator as well as the normal um, you know, GPS. Um, it is an amazing piece of technology for those that are looking to go into the backcountry and to have a have peace of mind when going out there to be able to communicate with people at home or you know whoever they need to, as well as be able to track where they're going, be able to find where they need to go, and to be able to have maps. Um, and for the small package that this comes in, I can't think of a better option for this device so let's get into some of the technical specs so for the specs on this right now this weighs 3.5 ounces this whole package uh, right here um, and that might be maybe off a couple grams because of this carabiner um, they don't they send this to you as you can see it's made by Garmin um, but anyways this unit weighs 3.5 ounces um, the average battery life for this device is listed at 50 hours, and that is if you're doing the 10-minute intervals, if you're um, tracking yourself. So if you're plotting points along the map of like where you're going, if you do that every 10 minutes, it'll be 50 hours. Now, I've had this go on all the time for about two days, two and a half um, depending on if I have text or if I'm using um, just the regular GPS not tracking. So um, that it all depends on how much you use it. But right now they're listing it for 50 hours at 10 minute intervals. Um, the battery is rechargeable. Um, if you look here, if I can get this open, this is always kind of a pain to open, but it is uh, micro USB rechargeable. And it is got it does have the uh, waterproof cover over it. Um, it does have the SOS function, and that is this button right here. So some may ask, like, oh, am I gonna, you know, like, accidentally bump that and uh, you know hit it and send it off? Well, no, you're not gonna just accidentally, you know, hit this and uh, accidentally call SOS. So what this is, is this is just a simple protective waterproof cap. So you just flip that open and you can see in there, if it'll zoom, that it is a actual button. So what happens when you hit this button, and I've never hit this button, this is just everything that I've heard about it. When you hit that button on the screen, it'll say SOS, you know, activated or something like that. You know which do you wish to proceed and then you have to hit you know okay or the SOS one more time and it'll then send out the signal so if you accidentally hit it there is an opportunity for it to you know just 
not actually send anything without you approving it. Um, so, so I'm just kind of looking at uh, the device and specs right now because there's quite a few of them. Um, so this device does give you weather, so you can get weather updates um, with the, your subscription. Um, it does have a compass and an altimeter. Um, it is waterproof. Um, it is IPX7 rated for the water resistance. Um, so the dimensions on this particular device right now to kind of give you an idea, I mean, you can kind of see, generally speaking, how big it is. It is 3.9 inches in length, 2 inches wide, and about an inch in thickness. Um, like I said, it is 3.5 ounces. And it is, you know, that's kind of like the general overview of all of these specs on this right now. Let's kind of go into just some of the features features of this device really quickly. I'm not going to go into like a full depth, like every, you know, point, how to get to different settings and whatnot. If you guys want more, you know, how to use this, if you have one, I'd be more than happy to do a video. But for right now, this is just kind of a general overview for those that are looking. So if you come over here to the top and you hit and hold the on button, it'll now turn on. All right, so this is kind of your home page. You know, it gives you the time, the battery, and the date. Um, if you scroll down, this is where your two-way communication um, comes in. So let me go into this for a second. So with the messaging capability of this device, there's a couple subscriptions that you can get for this device. And I'm going to post this page that they have provided, um, you know, for, for everyone to see. Um, so it'll be up on the screen. I'll just put it up there right now. Um, and so there, as you can see, there's four different subscription um, options. There's the safety, the recreation, the expedition, and the extreme. So you can choose from any of these plans and you can see there's a lot of different options, a lot of pros and cons for every single one of those and a lot of um, different, you know, things that you can kind of customize per se um, with this plan. So for this device, I have chosen the safety plan. So that gives you unlimited SOS activations. I get 10 um, text messages sent from this device. Um, I get unlimited preset messages. Um, I get the 10 minute tracking interval. I get um, 15 cents for a tracking point, um, 15 cents per location ping. You know, one text message is one basic weather um, report. Um, and premium weather is $1.50 each. That, that's added on. And excess usage, I mean, um, $0.75. Cents. So that works out to be 20 bucks a month. And they have raised their price since I first signed up with this. It was um, 14 but it has now uh, been raised to 20 So, I mean, that's kind of a... Um, a downside but you know hey you can only do so much so um, yeah so there's just a couple different options just kind of going through they've changed a few things but so if we come back to the device I mean you got your messages so I pay I get 10 messages you know per month which is plenty for me um, usually I just send one message when I get to camp saying hey I've got to camp this is where we're at and that does me fine I mean if you go out once a week in a month, I mean, you're still covered. So I just stick with the safety plan uh, for 20 bucks a month, and that does me fine. So if you go into the messages here, you can see you can do new message um, or you can type a new message, and you can link this via Bluetooth to your phone so you don't have to text on this, which is super nice because I can just you know, send a regular text like if it were on my phone, and it communicates with this and then sends it through the satellite. So that's really awesome. Um, send preset message. And so these are in the preset messages. I have gone online and actually created 
um, some preset messages, you know, kind of based on some situations that I can foresee. And if I just want to send that, I just hit, hit OK and it'll send it out. So if we go back here um, and you can see kind of the text conversations, these go up. Um, so, yeah, that's kind of your basic overview of your messages. So you can, you know, text like a regular phone from this device and it'll show up on your phone. Um, so basically everything that I'm going to show you on this screen shows up on your phone and kind of like this nicely organized app which is really awesome because that app gives you a map which I use a ton when I'm out to kind of get an idea of where I'm at and so the app is extremely useful um, for this so that's kind of your messages just a kind of brief overview of that um, and so here's the uh, mail check so if you want to do a mail check you know kind of see if anything's come in um, for you to receive you just hit ok and it'll then check um, you can set the intervals and I don't have those off the top of my head um, you'd have to go into your settings but you can check like every 15 minutes every five minutes every hour you know whatever it is and it'll automatically just do that um, I just have it right now set to you know um, kind of like push notifications so I have to activate a mail check so you can do that um, tracking so this is where you start tracking it's plain and simple all you gotta do is push OK and it'll start you know tracking your points on where you're going um, location so um, when you know the, like there you go it's found my location so it gives you the elevation that you're at and your exact coordinates which is nice if you're having to communicate with search and rescue or you want to mark a point you can just come here and get the exact um, coordinates of where you're at and they say that this is accurate within three um, meters as far as tracking goes so that's you know pretty that is really good I'm not like a genius on GPS's but I mean three meters that's really really close all right so it will give you a speed so if you're hiking along you can kind of see your general speed which has been handy for me a couple times um, Bluetooth so as you can see right now is connected to my phone so I can open up the app and I'll just kind of give you guys a glimpse of kind of the app and the overview of that right now and so as you can see there's the different there's the messages tab, the tracking tab, um, there's weather, you can see the map, um, just a whole bunch of great options if you're looking to um, kind of use this device to the next level. So the app really expounds the usability of the inReach. Um, so coming back to the device, you can see that here on the home screen there is a weather um, page and so this is where you can update your forecast so all you gotta do is push OK and it'll automatically update your weather for where you're at and I've used this a ton Oops. Um, and they just come in quite handy and then like you saw if you hit that right there you are back to the home page so that is kind of a really simplified uh, rundown of the Garmin inReach and there's a lot more like technical specs and uh, how this works but it is a amazing device it has really provided me with some peace of mind in the outdoors and it's really helped me you know kind of feel more comfortable just going into the backcountry not knowing like what could happen because really anything can happen and as you guys know I'm a huge proponent on being prepared and being ready for anything that is you know that can or in most cases will happen in the backcountry and this device has given me some peace of mind uh, doing that and it's also helped me find some really cool places um, for backpacking because of the GPS and it's helped me you know communicate in a time of need if you guys watch my um, rider lake video I use this device to communicate with my family back home that we needed a ride 
to get out of a different route that we were going to take. And that was extremely helpful to be able to use this and to be able to communicate with um, those that have, you know, I'm telling where I'm going. Obviously, that's like the number one safety thing that you need to do. Um, But I'm telling them, hey, this is my plan. You know, hey, can you come pick me up? Hey, we're in trouble. You know, whatever it may be. This device has allowed me to do that. And it is extremely, extremely light, extremely small, and just a small price to pay for the amount of benefits, the safety, the security, the um, reliability, you know, a whole bunch of things that this device provides. It is just, to, in my opinion, a no-brainer. If you're an avid outdoorsman like myself, well, I consider myself to be quite avid, Um, this is a piece of gear that I think everyone needs to have. Um, and Garmin, you know, it works on the Iridium, uh, satellite network. So it is, you know, one of the most reliable satellite networks. And I have yet to find a spot where this hasn't been able to communicate and, you know, establish that connection. Um, so, I mean, like I said, this is an amazing, amazing device. So right now, um, I'm just looking through a couple of websites where they offer the NRH Mini, um, and they have updated this. So this is the 20 like 18 version. So the 2019 version, a couple of changes has has happened. Um, they now offer it uh, in black. And I honestly think they offered it in black for me as well. Um, But anyways, not important. So it comes in the orange and the black. And they have updated a few things and made a couple changes to like the programs. But from what I can tell from the things that I've seen, it is, you know, not that much different from this device. Um, So right now you can pick up the brand new one for $350, which is about what I paid for this one. Maybe like $330 is what I paid for this one. I can't remember. Um, but right now you can pick up the brand new one for 350 and that is kind of the average price all across, you know, the different websites that I've been checking. Um, so when you get this in the box, and I don't have the box anymore, but you get a micro USB uh, charging cable, a one foot c- cable that you can, you know, use to charge this. You get this little lanyard that um, bolts onto the back with this carabiner that you can use to carry it around um so yeah that is kind of a really basic rundown so this is a complete five star two thumbs up you know 100 percent. you know no no bs review this is an amazing amazing device and it has changed the way that I look at going into the backcountry. So if you guys want to have safety, if you want to have you know peace of mind, and if you want to have a way to communicate, if you're doing like a through hike, or if you're doing a long trail, or you're just going out for the weekend and you just want to feel prepared, pick up the Garmin InReach Mini. It is well worth your time. It is well worth your money to invest in this device right here. And I am super happy I had it, and it will continue to come out with me on many, many more trips. So guys, that wraps up kind of the review. If you have any questions at all on this device, how to use it, um, you know, anything at all, please feel free to leave them down in the comments below, or feel free to reach out to me on, you know, like Instagram or directly through um, YouTube or whatnot. I have my email up there. I would love to you know, answer questions on this device. So I hope you guys enjoyed and there's going to be plenty more of these reviews just like this one, more to come in the future. If you guys haven't subscribed already, please feel free to please subscribe. Um, We'd love to have you in the community of, you know, the explorers of the world. So hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and uh, we will catch you guys for the next gear review.